Hi, I am Hazar. I'm going to present my senior project, which is 3D human pulse estimation aided activity feedback application. My advisor was Bert Gökberg, and we worked together on this project. We developed an application which gives feedback about five different exercises. Exercises are a warm up movement, forearm plank, one leg deadlift, lunge, and glute bridge. So let's see how we managed to give feedback about those exercises. To start, we needed a tool to track human body in a video frame. We used MediaPipe, a program developed by Google for processing perceptual input. MediaPipe identifies human in a video frame and estimates pose from joints if they are visible. Apart from joints, MediaPipe also identifies some landmarks such as nose, ear, mouth. In total, MediaPipe identifies 33 landmarks on human body and provides 3D coordinates of them, midpoint of lips being the origin. Here on the figure, you can see 33 landmarks that MediaPipe identifies. It has also a drawing tool that you can change color or thickness of annotation. Secondly, we needed to learn correct ways of performing exercises. We searched about those five exercises, found necessary ranges of joint connection angles and necessary joint distances in order to perform movements correctly. If any angle of specific joint connections or distance between specific joints lies inside correct range, we display that connection with green color. If it doesn't lie inside correct range, we display it with red color. The feedback method must meet one requirement in order to work correctly. For warm-up exercise, the person must face the camera. For other exercises, the person must be positioned almost 90 degrees from the camera. For our dataset, we use photos and videos of people performing exercises correctly. Additionally, we performed each exercise correctly in front of a camera. Next, we detected necessary range of angles between joint connections and range of joint distances. We took those ranges as references for processing new inputs of each exercise. So we got correct ranges of specific joints and joint connections for each exercise by conducting experiments. So let's see them. For warm up, the vertical distance between elbow and shoulder must be smaller than 10 centimeters. Inside elbow angle must be bigger than 130 degrees. Shoulders and hips must be in line with each other. For forearm plank, inside knee angle must be bigger than 170 degrees. Hip must be above knee for at least five centimeters. Distance between two feet must be smaller than distance between shoulders. Angle between x-axis and shoulder elbow connection must be in range 80 and 100 degrees. Also angle between back and x-axis is critical. For one leg deadlift, inside angle between thigh bone of moving leg and back must be bigger than 135 degrees. Moving knee inside angle must be bigger than 110 degrees. Vertical distance between hip and moving knee must be bigger than five centimeters. Also standing knee inside angle must be bigger than 150 degrees. Support arm inside elbow angle must be bigger than 140 degrees. For lunge, angle between x-axis and must and back must lie between 75 and 105 degrees. If person faces right, angle between x-axis and front shin bone must be bigger than 75 degrees. If person faces left, it must be smaller than 105 degrees. Angle between x-axis and heel foot tip connection must be above 20 degrees if person faces left and below 160 degrees if person faces right. Also distance between two feet is critical. For glute bridge, inside knee angle must lie between 45 and 75 degrees at the beginning of the movement. Distance between foot and hip is critical. Angle between back and x-axis must be smaller than 30 degrees if foot faces right. It must be bigger than 150 degrees if foot faces left. Our aim in this project was to make people more informed about exercises and help them avoid injuries. We made use of angles and distances between joints to give people the right feedback, and it worked well. We consider removing the constant of the person's position across the camera in the future works. Thanks for watching.